I am Jem. I am Nerbons. I am Ella. And we are the Team Janella. Team Janella. <laughs> It's freezing cold. As no day to all of you, mga ka Team G. So for today's video, samahan niyo ako umuwi sa bahay kasi pagod na pagod na ako from work. While you are with me on my commute heading to my home, let's have chica time. So for today's topic is all about me, especially about my work. Since a lot of you guys are asking what I do for a living here in Canada. But before that, I would like to welcome all my new subscribers. Welcome to my channel, Janela TV. This is Jam from Team Janela saying the only way to achieve the impossible is to believe that it is possible. So, laban lang! <laughs> so, ayun na nga. Let's start with our Chica Minute, mga ka Team G. So, many of you guys ask, Jam, what is your work there in Canada? Are you a nurse? Are you a teacher? Are you a dancer? A singer? Or whatever. Nagagiling lang naman ako ng snow. Don't you know? <laughs> well, kidding aside, I am a registered early childhood educator in Ontario and I work one of the child care centers here in Toronto. Wait, what? Yes, I'm not a nurse, I'm not a high school teacher, but I am a daycare worker. However, I am a licensed educator here in Ontario. But Jam, what do you mean by that? I mean, what is your work all about? Okay, I'll explain to you guys. Hold on. Ganito kasi yan mga ka Team G. Diba sa atin may mga daycare centers din tayo. Kaya lang, they are regulated or under the governance of a certain barangay. Am I right? Correct me if I'm wrong. And I don't have any idea how the teachers or the workers are getting paid. However, here in Canada, early childhood education is a regulated profession. To become a teacher in a daycare center, you have to have a diploma in ECE which only takes two years and then after you graduate you are going to register to the certain regulating body which is the college of ece that's what we call that here in ontario and once you are registered you must renew it annually in order to practice your profession legally also in every province of canada they have different regulations in how to become a registered ece and there is no examination needed only the diploma to qualify for registration so Jem, i have a question so what are the job opportunities for an early childhood educator since ece is dealing with young children from 0 to 12 years old then you can work in the daycare centers or in school board i presume that you know daycare center setting but most probably you are not familiar with the term school board school board is a government school here in canada so that is tantamount to the public schools in Philippines. If you work in daycare center, you will be called as RECE. So your position will be either the lead teacher or the other teacher. In Ontario, most of the daycare centers cater infancy to preschool. And kindergarten is under the school board. If you work in school board, you will be termed as EA or educational assistant. It means that you are an assistant of a certain teacher in that classroom. Since ECE is dealing with 0 to 12 years old, if you work in school board, you can be an EA from kindergarten to grade 6. So yeah, that's the scope of ECE here in Ontario. Or it's almost the same in the other provinces here in Canada. They might differ only in some aspects, but generally, I guess it's just the same. Now, moving on to the most interesting part, the salary or the pay. Well, it's not that high as what you think. To be honest, we are underpaid compared to other professions, especially here in Ontario. In the province, the minimum wage of ECE is 18 per hour. And the government also shares $2 on top of that. So how much are we making monthly? Well, it's just only $3,200. Oh, I'm talking about the gross pay, not the net pay yet. Because in Canada, we also have lots of deductions in the pay. Especially the tax. Oh, tax here, tax there, tax everywhere. So let's go back first to the gross pay. 3,200 Canadian dollars that is equivalent to 128,000 pesos. Philippine pesos. Well, that's far way better compared to my salary before. So ano na mga kasamahan kong teachers, arat na sa Canada! 
You might ask, oh Jan, baka pagpunta ko dyan, wala akong trabaho or hindi ako maka-work sa daycare. Uh, uh, oh, you don't know. Guys, we are understaffed. Even if you are not a registered ECE here in Ontario, pwede ka pa din maka-work sa daycare center as an assistant. I assure you, kapag makapasok ka na ng Canada, walang problema. Especially in the big cities like Toronto, oh, daming work dito. Pwede kang mag-double job or triple jobs as long as kaya ng katawan mo, walang problema. But make sure to work smart, not hard. Pero paano ba makapunta dyan, Jem? Well, well, we will talk about that in my next video. So make sure that you turn on your notification bell button so you will be updated on all my videos. So abangan nyo ang next content ko which is all about the easiest way to come to Canada. In there, I will be sharing my experience and how we arrived here in Canada or what pathway we use to come to Canada. I know you are so excited about that because a lot of people asking me how did you come there Jem? what pathway did you use can you teach us also share your experience so don't worry guys i will be sharing it to you in one video so make sure that you already subscribe to our channel and if not please hit the subscribe button right now so as of the moment, enjoy niyo muna ang napakagandang tanawin, mag road trip muna tayo and look how beautiful Canada is, especially the winter season. Because alam ko gusto niyo din ma-experience ang snow, so here it is, I'm sharing to you the winter wonderland of Canada. Enjoy watching!